And it, it had a few names, but we finished on Louis in the end. We like to call it Lulu, but then we realised that ginger cats are, are boys, not girls. So it could turn to Louis, but we, it, it doesn't answer to any name, so it's not a problem. problem. And how often is he in the cathedral? Most days now in the winter, because it's lovely and warm. In the summer, when it's warm as, as well, in the sunshine. And he has his favourite spots, okay, which is good, because you can find him when we need to take him out at night. Mm -hmm. The cat particularly enjoys large services with a lot of people, say a thousand or a full nave or five or eight hundred, and he'll walk down through the people and ignore everybody. And we've often seen him sitting on the step in the sanctuary and staring at them or preening himself, uh, and he ignores them all. He's very good at ignoring because he walks all the way down and ignores them. He's very... He, he likes a lot of people to ignore, really. He likes like, all the attention, and he gives none back. I see that in, in the shop that you're selling merchandise. He has his own set of merchandising, yes. He has his pictures, his clocks, his coasters, his wine stops, he, he cards, etc., etc. Yes. What, what does the Dean and the Bishop think of Well, the dean, the, the dean is fully behind him, so he is, he's got the grace of the Dean behind him. And the Bishop, I don't know about the Bishop too much. He ha he, I think actually there's a bit of jealousy and the Bishop got his own cat, he said. <laughs> so the rivalry is all right now. Great.